the ladder and box problem. My motto, plain honesty, simple truth, easy understanding. The joy of finding things out for yourself. This problem has only just been uploaded by Mind Your Decisions and I strongly recommend that you watch the video for an excellent solution to the problem. I solved this problem way back around the early 1980s after producing a fourth degree polynomial and solving for the roots using a programmable calculator that had a root finding program. I knew the solution was correct since the two roots summed to give the length of the ladder and the two angles produced by the slope of the ladder summed to 90 degrees. I can't remember how I came to the conclusion that the equation for the ellipse was the right way to go so I'll give my current reasoning for it and rework the algebra in a general way so that the coefficients of the polynomial are obtained for any ladder box combination that are a solution to the problem. The calculator no longer works so I wrote a root finding program for precise calculator in order to verify the mathematics. When the ladder is flat up against the wall, the only logical point on the ladder is the midpoint. So in the plane of the ladder, we can draw a circle of diameter equal to the length of the ladder. As we move the foot of the ladder away from the wall, its point of contact with any square box between it and the wall will be along the 45 degree line, up to the point where the box is too large for the ladder to span it. For every point of contact at the bottom end of the ladder, there is an equal one at the top end of the ladder, since the ladder can be further withdrawn from the wall. So now we have two points equidistant from the top and bottom of the ladder, which are the foci for an ellipse, hence the choice of the equation for the ellipse. This line of reasoning has been confirmed by the algebra and from the results for two examples. Multiplying through the ellipse equation by a squared and b squared gives us x squared b squared plus y squared a squared equals a squared b squared. Let the length of the ladder equal L and the side of the box equal S. Let b equal L minus a and x equals S and y equals S. Therefore, b squared equals l squared minus 2 times l times a plus a squared, which on substituting into the equation for the ellipse gives us the two following lines of algebra, which after rearranging gives us the final polynomial of a to the fourth minus 2 times l times a cubed plus l squared minus 2 times s squared, all multiplied by a squared, plus 2 times s squared times l times a, minus s squared times l squared, qed. Taking the generalised fourth degree polynomial we have just derived, for l equals 4 and s equals 1, we end up with the fourth degree polynomial a to the 4 minus 8a cubed plus 14a squared plus 8a minus 16. We have a change of sign in the two intervals, 1, 2, where the root x1 is equal to 1.06357 dot dot dot, and 2, 3, where the root x2 is equal to 2.93642 dot dot dot. For L equals 9 and S equals 3, we have the fourth degree polynomial a to the fourth minus 18a cubed plus 63a squared plus 162a minus 729. We have a change of sign in the two intervals 3 comma 4 where the root x1 is equal to 3.61146 dot 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 and 5 comma 6 where the root x2 is equal to 5.3888 dot dot dot. Wow, I've beaten number file mythology to the punch on this one. The Simpletons, Mathematical Coat of Arms. In Euclid we trust, 
and not mathematicians. That's all folks, till next time.